child. These goddamn African scammers. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Momo. We are back again for another episode review of Catfish Y'all. This is season 8, episode 67. Kimberly and Flavor. Girl! <laughs> the fuck? Um... Y'all already know how my church announcements go. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Make sure notification bells is turned on. All that good shit. Y'all, this episode was a trip. These goddamn African scammers, when I tell you they be all in my inbox too, that's why this shit was so goddamn funny to me. One just hit me up not too long ago talking about I'm so beautiful and, and I just want to be in your presence and I would love to come to the U.S. and see you, but it's hard for me right now financially. Bitch, it's hard for me too, and I'm in the U.S the fuck y'all uh i don't want to make this review long at all because i'm hot and i'm tired Whoo! and i'm ready to take this goddamn bra off so look here hopefully y'all are ready for this review because i'm damn sure ready to give it to you so let's go and get up into it all right y'all so we got diamond who wrote in on behalf of her mother kimberly okay kimberly is 52 she's from fayetteville north carolina she's been talking to flavor for the last seven months now flavor is a singer from nigeria okay now diamond say her mama done already been out here, done been scammed by these goddamn Nigerians, these Africans before. This ain't her first time, okay? Last time, she sent the nigga $1,500, child. Check this shit out. This nigga say he was an architect, okay? He was from D.C., but he was working in Malaysia. Got into this horrible accident and needed to get surgery, but the only way they would start surgery is if he gave him $1,500. So Kimberly gave this nigga $1,500 for his surgery. And then guess what? He ghosted her ass. She ain't heard nothing from him. She don't know if he got the surgery or not. Shy girl. Now, Kimberly says that Flavor slid into her DMs. He was talking all slick, talking about you a beautiful woman. And I really want to get to know you. I love to be in your presence. The same bullshit be in my goddamn DMs, child. He suggested that they end up going and talking on WhatsApp after a few weeks of them actually talking on um, IG. Now, he suggested them talking on WhatsApp because his manager is connected to his IG. And so he didn't want his manager in his business on IG. Some bullshit like that, child. Kim is in love with this nigga. Okay. She said she done FaceTimed him once. It was only for a few minutes, but it kept buffering. And so, you know, the call eventually hung up. But she's positive that it was him. Okay. She loves him. And, you know, she going to be with him. Now, she says that he has asked her for an iTunes card before, but she refused to give it to him. Good for you. She says she told him that's your manager's job. If you are a singer, songwriter, whatever the hell you is, that's your manager's job to get you your iTunes bullshit. That ain't up to me. So good for you. She didn't give him no goddamn iTunes goddamn thing or whatnot. But Neve and Cammie are for certain that this, hell, I'm for certain, and this, this ain't even but two, three minutes into the show. This ain't who you talking to, sir. That ain't who you talking to, sir. Child, so it's an invest uh, time for the investigation. Neva can be search IG for flavor, just the, the singer flavor, like official flavor. Bitch, lo and behold, he pop up with whoop de whoop million doggone followers. obvious as hell that ain't who sus was talking to so they end up sending him a message or whatnot they end up going and looking at the fake flavors page send him um they send a message to someone who they see commented on a post that he had talking about um it was some chick name what was her name uh kubarat she had left a message on one of the posts talking about thanks for the opportunity. Let's go grab lunch later. Whoop de whoop, yada, yada, yada. They end up sending her a message. She ends up calling right back right away. Claims to be his assistant. Said that they met online, that she hasn't gotten paid just yet because she just started working for him. Neve is like, I got reason to believe that this motherfucker you talking to is fake. I don't even think that's the real dude you goddamn talking to. She's talking about, no, 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 no. He's real. He's really, really real. I talked to him, you know, on, on online. Line, he's very much so real even she was kind of goddamn sketchy i was like nah mm -mm. don't trust her goddamn ass 
So after they do all their investigation, they end up getting back to Kim with all the tea. And it took Kim a minute to actually let it sink in in her head that this ain't who you talking to. Even Kimmy has to break it down. Was like, sis, okay, you know you love you some B, right? B is Queen B. Now, what if you just so happened to get a message from her from Beehive Fifth Eleven? And she's like, hey, what's up, just Beyonce? I'm just calling you. I'm just talking to you from a different account. What's going on, girl? How you doing? Would you think that was her? She was like, shoot. I'd be like, girl, well, what you need? See, that's the problem now. That's why these Nigerians are scamming your ass, sis. You got to be uh, you got to be quicker than that. Got to be smarter than the average goddamn fifth grader. But she got a good, kind heart. You know what I'm saying? And you hate to see people like that just get taken advantage of. Because she just got a good heart. Sweet girl, whatnot, right? So... They end up sending a message to um, the fake flavor, again, because they haven't heard nothing back from the real flavor just yet. Neve ends up sending a message to the fake flavor. He ends up responding back, talking about what's up. Neve is basically trying to bait his ass into agreeing to, you know, calling them on the phone, FaceTime, so they can see who the fuck he is, right? Now, he calls. He does agree to end up calling, you know, FaceTiming them or whatnot. Child, this motherfucker calls. And it's clear as day, he's holding up a phone to a screen recording this dude who's flayed. Like, a flavor. It's not even a girl. It was just so goddamn obvious. And it was it, what he was saying wasn't even matching up with the lips that was moving in a doggone video that he was showing, child. And, of course, you know, the, 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 the connection breaks. You know, and, and he ends up sending the message. It's like, oh, my bad. My, my connection is bad. Kimmy's like, nigga, if you don't, you so full of shit. Neve ends up giving him the team. He's like, nigga, the jig is up. We know you ain't you because we just talked to the real one. So, uh, what's good? So they end up breaking for lunch because he doesn't even, uh, send him a message back, right? As soon as they leave for lunch, the real flame sends him a message and was like, hey, you know, give me about 30 minutes and I'll call y'all. So they end up having to go back to Kimberly's house. As soon as they get over there, child, they end up getting the real flavor on Zoom. It's him. He says that that has happened to him plenty of times where he has been out somewhere and fans come up to him and say, like, hey, 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 do you remember me? He don't know who the fuck they are. Niggas has been out here catfishing bitches and bitches is catfishing all up in Nigeria and, and everywhere around Africa using his profile catfishing bitches and shit. So, again, he's a sweet guy as well. He apologizes to Kimberly for, you know, um, Somebody pretending to be him, to catfish her. Really sweet guy. He was fine as hell too. I was like, Ooh, okay, taste some of that flavor. So Neve ends up sending a video to the fake flavor, basically like, uh, bitch, the jig is up. We got you, ho. Go ahead, call me back and let me know, because we already know that you ain't you, dude. He ends up replying back, talking about, you have to talk to my manager, and this is a U.S. TV show, so I should get paid. Cammy say, bitch, I know you fucking lying. Neve ends up talking to the producer, and the producer does agree to accommodate him, but says, you need to get your ass on this camera first, right? So he ends up, the manager... Um, the manager's name is Alexander. He agrees to get on the Zoom. He gets on the Zoom, but it's audio only. You can't see his picture, right? You can't see his face at all. He says that he is Flavor's manager and that he needs to get paid before he actually comes on a Zoom call. Neve is like, okay, but you're not Flavor, though, and you're not Flavor's manager because we just talked to the real Flavor. He's like, no, 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 that can't be. That's impossible. I have Flavor right here with me, and we need to get paid before we actually come on camera and do any of that. Neve is like, look here, bitch, you ain't getting nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You ain't getting nothing. We know that you ain't who the hell you say you are, goddamn it, so we ain't giving you shit. He talking about this the real flavor. I got him in front of me. And he was like, all right, then fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go ahead and um disconnect this call because we know you full of shit and you ain't gonna get shit. And what? Child, finally, Alexander gets on camera again while on camera, he's still claiming to be Flavor's manager. I am Alexander. I'm his manager. I have Flavor here with me right now. We need to get paid. And he was like, look, I ain't giving you shit. God damn it. Then he finally says, okay, okay, it's me, Alexander. I'm not Flavor's manager. I'm who Kimberly has been talking to the whole time. Child, 23-year-old guy from Nigeria. He says, basically, this is job. 
in times it's hard in Nigeria. That's what everybody in Nigeria do. They scam, you know, Americans. Because we so fucking gullible. That's what his job is. Neve is like, okay, I understand that that's your job. You got to do what you got to do. But why the hell you got to be out here doing this to innocent people like this? Why get, get off your ass. <laughs> God damn it, get to work in Nigeria. Like, what the hell? Now, he does apologize. He also says that Kubarat is his sister. She helps with the goddamn scam. So the bitch was in and on the whole goddamn time. Now, he does apologize to Kimberly, and Kimberly accepts his apology. He also wants to continue talking to Kimberly. Kimberly is like, hell no. You know, I forgive you because the Lord tells me to forgive you, and the forgiveness is for me. It ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, we ain't finna be friends like that. Uh -uh, you got me fucked up. He's like, okay, you forgive me, but you don't want to be friends. You don't want to talk to me no more than you really don't forgive me. Neve and Kimmy had to step in and be like, look here. Because she was starting to sweat. She was getting so goddamn mad. That'd be me when I'm mad and I got to keep my com my composure. Bitch, I start sweating because I'm so mad. I, my fucking blood is boiling. They had to let him know, look here, just because she's accepting your apology doesn't mean that she's obligated to still be your friend and talk to you. Because really what the nigga wanted to do would still be her friend and try to con her on the cool. No, that ain't what we doing. That is not what the hell we is doing. So, like I said, she tells him, nah, we can't be cool. You know, fuck you, kiss my ass. And he promises to stop catfishing. That's what he say. It's two months later. Kimberly says she's staying away from the online dating at the moment. She did say that Alexander did try to reach out to her, ask how she was doing. She replied back, said, I'm good, but leave me the hell alone. And she hasn't talked to him ever since then. Alexander says that he has stopped catfishing and he wants to eventually go to college in the U.S. Cha, these Nigerians is off the chain. When I tell you they steady be in my goddamn inbox and your auntie ain't falling for it. Fuck, I look like sending you some money. Bitch, I am a goddess, goddammit. Look here, if there was anything that I missed, y'all already know what to do. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And y'all, auntie, we're going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out.